All right, everyone, here she is. She does not have a name yet. Ford E350, 2013. It's a decommissioned ambulance. She's beautiful. She drives like a dream. I just drove her home, got her insured today. In here, I'm gonna be putting in a third seat so all three of us can go in here. She's very dirty. She needs a bit of a wash. Here I got my spare tire and my jack. And here I've got my electrical system. I need to learn a lot about electrical. Got a guide. Got a chart. At least get me started. Got a battery charger. And two batteries. Check that out. How lucky am I? And I got plug-ins. I'm assuming for short power, and I can also charge my batteries that way. It takes gas, not a diesel engine, it's a gas engine. More storage back here. Look how far down that goes. I have a feeling I'm gonna break in through here so I can make my bed even longer. I'll show you that when I get inside. Then the same thing on this side. This will open to the other end of my bed. If I ever need an escape hatch in the middle of the night, maybe that'll be it. Who knows? Maybe we'll tour inside in a moment. I leave a more storage here. It's where the oxygen tank used to be, so there is a little, little door on the inside. So that'll probably be where I put my propane tank. All right, let's check her out inside. Oh, check it out! A window with a screen. It goes up and down. The cool thing about the screen too, though, is you can lift the screen up. Got a bunch of bungee cords everywhere. Seat number one with a seat belt, little jump seat. If I put my kitchen area here, see that's where the oxygen tank used to go. If I put my kitchen there for my propane, then I'll end up taking that seat out. Right now, it does not have a walkthrough cab, and while it's me and the kids, I'll leave it that way, but later on I'll probably take this part out so that I can walk through storage for days got seat number two back here seat belt got so many cupboards all uh, really heavy duty plastic that open slide open look at all this power I have no idea what anything does or what's hooked up and what's not any of it yet. I only just got her home. Everything is still in her. She's dirty. So this right now folds on the seat with three seat belts. One, two, three. My plan is that along the back here, so that was this long piece of storage that I showed you all right in here, thinking that I might start here by taking out these two cupboards, and then I'll have ample space for my bed. If I take out this thing here, then from that wall to right here is five six, and I'm only five foot four on a good day, so I would fit, but to get even more I could just go right through and then insulate that outside wall and, and have a ton of space. And then here, I'm going to make a nice L couch and then make this part into bunk beds for the kids so that the back part of the, the couch flips up like this for a bunk bed. There is already hard points in the ceiling that I might be able to use to suspend the bed somehow. We'll see. We'll figure all that out. But I'm very excited. Uh, very excited. I need to think of a name. Come on, buddy. You gonna come camping with us? Hey? <laughs> 
he loves to check things out. He is a curious cat.